All right, guys, I'm back with another episode of So You Want to Be an OC. I was going to talk passing game, but I got a message talking about summer and fall install. So I want to kind of talk through that because I thought that was more important as we get ready to hit the summer um, before I talked about the passing game. Because most of you guys know what you want to do. But if I can help you organize in the buckets, I will. So that'll be the next video. I'll drop that in about a week or so. So I used to be a really, really heavy three-day install guy like a lot of the air raid guys are. Um, now I'm a lot more detailed because I think I get everything taught the way I want to in. So in theory, I am a four-day install guy. But we spread it out kind of over nine days. So I don't know about your state. So in the state of Georgia, we can't wear pads. But at our padded camp, we're going to do so many days of that. But what we can do is have access to our kids. So we pretty much work out approximately Monday through Thursday in the summer times, except for the day of week from 8 to 12 so we're not really so how that works for us is 30 minutes breakfast 50 minutes of team run 50 minutes of practice 50 minutes of lifting weights lunch and then go home some weeks we go three days some weeks we do seven on seven we do have padded camps so all of that is kind of streamlined in there but basically this is our summer install how we would do it and me as a head coach, I go one day offense, one day defense. So how that works is this. If we got a kid that goes two ways, but he's a varsity offensive guy, on O days, he'll be on offense. On D days, he'll be on defense. For my younger guys, they kind of, you know, flip-flop back and forth. So we make sure everybody's getting taught. So here is our offensive install um, for the summer, which we repeat in the fall, late July, once we get to the season so i'm a big inside zone guy if you've watched my channel you know that i'm a big inside zone guy so they want we do inside zone we work as on pretty much our read zones which are our least uh the skip route bubbles and our screens um passing game wise we work spacing the vertical switch because we're getting ready for seven on seven tournaments so that's big um play our play action game is boot and then our screen is tunnel we run tunnel screen i'm a big screen guy I try to throw six to eight the game so that's in there our day two is still gonna work inside zone we're gonna work what we call stay in the way in rpos that's pretty much our cut zone split zones that we deal with we continue with our spacing and vertical switch passing games and we work our boot in our tunnel day three and four i get into our gap schemes Excuse me. Day three is our counter G. We don't run GT. We only run GH, but that's fine. We work in a lot of our GH, our smash variations, flood. I got Little Rock on here because this is actually a picture of my install for the summer. Little Rock is our play action pass, playing the guard, and we work Mercedes and shallow screen. Mercedes should sound kind of familiar because Mercedes is middle screen, and then shallow is um, the shallow screen from the single receiver. Day four is the same. Uh, passing game variations, play action and screen. We work power. Day five says review and mix situations. is when we kind of all throw it together and see what's sticking. So, as I said, so really we're a four-day install. Day five is kind of our mix of situations. We come back day six and seven, and we continue with inside zone. We add jet sweep, and we focus on motions and trades and more motions like Focus on all of that stuff heavy. We're a big, heavy orbit motion team. We try to make sure those days we, we go through everything motion wise, just sweep wise, and make sure, see where our kids are, zips, shifts, the whole nine. Um, we also focus on bunches and stacks and then all passes. What passes are good from bunches? What passes are good from stacks? So we kind of do focus on those things as we repeat it. And then eight and nine do the same thing. Counter, power, truck and trailer. We run the uh, counter reverse. Um, that's kind of out there. We run the counter reverse and counter crisscross. The focus did the same thing. Motions, trades, shifts, more motion, and then we are in balance. So that's our nine-day install. I don't think we actually get through all nine days in the summer, 
because I'm not, like I say, it makes it sound like we are, but when you include uh, 3707 competitions, we go to LCA padded count. So we're going to get the work in, but we don't get all nine days. But we will flip and turn around and do all nine of these days once we get a chance before we play our scrimmage game in the fall and get ready for the season. So you want to be an offensive coordinator. My question to you is, do you have a summer plan? Whether that's 707, run game, no matter what offense you run, do you have a, a summer plan? Do you script your 707 in the summer where it's not competition-based? Look and consider that. That's this video. I'll follow it back up in a few a week or so about the passing game buckets, and then we'll go for there. Thank you. See you guys later.